Well, a fish might not be able to talk, but it can make noises, and those sounds can actually help monitor the health of our coral reefs. That's just part of a lecture series happening tonight. Joining us now with more is Dr. Tr Tim Trikas, biology professor at UH Manoa. Good morning, doctor. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, thanks for being here. Very okay. interesting lecture. Can you tell us more about it? Right, so um, this is part of the um, guest lecture series sponsored by the Friends of the Waikiki Aquarium, and it's an outreach effort by the aquarium to invite the public to learn about recent um, studies in marine science and marine biology. And I'm going to talk about the coral reefs and also the fishes that are on there and the sounds that they make. And people might not realize that A, they make sounds, and B, it relates to the health of our coral reefs. That is correct. So um, a lot of our work is done diving using rebreathers, which are like scuba, except there's no bubbles. You mm -hmm. rebreathe the air and oxygen is put into it. So we can get underwater and we can follow fish for three hours down to 100 feet. And we can follow them with a hydrophone mm -hmm. right here. This is an underwater microphone. Mm -hmm. And we can look at their behavior and we can also record the sounds that they make while they're doing behaviors. Okay, we actually do have the sounds. We won't get to them yet because I do want right. to show this microphone. I didn't right. even know what it was, but you right. say, so how does this go? Does it go right by the coral reef and you lay it there and that's how you right. pick up the audio? What we have, so the divers uh, have this on a pole mm -hmm. uh, and this is like a microphone mm -hmm. so I could interview you underwater. It would sound like boo 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 <laughs> right, if you were trying to talk underwater. But That's the, how I sound on land no, too, actually. No, you don't sound that like that. <laughs> Um, but these guys, um, we're going to talk about the uhu that makes a scraping sound that's mm -hmm. very important for the health of, of coral reefs. But there's about 600 species of reef fish, and our diving field expeditions have demonstrated about half of them produce different types of sounds. So just by laying this microphone underwater, you yes. can hear the sound that they make. Let's go ahead and play that video and roll that sound that you captured. And that's the sound of the scraping. That is the uhu scraping on dead coral. Mm -hmm. um, coral reefs have about 30 to 40 percent a healthy reef of live coral. The rest of it is coral that has died. But the uhu scrapes the dead coral with its parrot-like beak and removes algae that may be growing. If it goes uncontrolled, it can overgrow the live coral and continue to uh, decimate the reef. And Hawaii coral reefs right now are undergoing major environmental impacts of um, increased water temperature, which is causing more and more coral bleaching, which allows possibly algae to start growing on it. So watching what these guys are doing by listening mm -hmm. can give us an indication if they're out there doing their job as gardeners. Fascinating. Yes. All that with the help of this microphone, right? right? Hydrophone. 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 Hydro. Hydrophone. Hydro. If you put a microphone in the water, it'll short out, especially right. seawater. Yes, that's right. and directors like Carlson and Renee will get very, very mad that's at us. That's right, that's right. <laughs> All right, and your lecture is tonight? It's at Tenney Theater, uh, right off of Baratania in mm -hmm. Queen Emma by St. Andrew's Schools, and the public is invited. It won't be super heavy science, but it'll be very informative with factual information and lots of pictures and video. All right, and so sounds. tonight at 6 p.m., very important topic. Dr. Trikas, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you very much.